Hey guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. This is going to be part two of what Izuku Midoriya had Cyclops powers. Now, I was searching online about the visor that I'm going to give him. Um, I think in this episode, I'll show you the picture. Um, this is it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it needs a look. Okay. The visor is going to be black. But the, um, the scene part, the uh, red part, is going to be green. So, you know, he shoots his, his blasts are green. So, we got that out of the way so I could get rid of that, get rid of that. And um, I decided, you know, I was thinking about Bako is going to be a female. She's going to be named Kaizuki. And, um, and Momo, you know, she's already a girl, so... And I'm um, thinking about, um, I'm just going to make Shoto a girl. So I'm going to put a poll or, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys decide who you want to ship with him with those three girls, depending on the three girls, either Shoto, Momo, or Kazuki. So whatever has the most comments down below, I'll ship those two, two together. There'll be no harem. I just want to give you a little bit, you know, free wearing, free reign of who you want them to ship with. That's those three characters. So, I might add another one. No, uh, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll add Rico in the mix. I'll have her go into class UA. Class 1A. <laughs> Let's say four. She's already a girl. So, there'll, there'll be four girls to choose from. Momo Yairozu. Um, Todoroki, Kasuki, and Reiko from Class 1B. She's going to transfer over to Class 1A. So, I'll figure out how I'm going to do it. I'm either going to have to get rid of someone. So, like, I'll say, like, Mineta never, like, went to UA and she'll take his spot. Because I really hate Mineta. So, I hate perverts. So, no. So, let's, let's continue where we left off on our last episode. As you know, Momo, you know, got through to Izuku. The whole um, saying that, sorry, the whole saying that you shouldn't, you know, deny your quirk. It's a part of you. It's like denying a part of yourself. So that stuck with Izuku. That will stick with Izuku for the rest of his life. As he's come to terms with, you know, he, he can't get rid of his quirk. I mean, he can wear a collar all day, but that's still not going to change the fact that it's part of him. The cork's the part of him. So that's going to stick with him the rest of the life. Now we're going to cut to the next day. Inko is like, um, doing some, you know, in the kitchen as Izuku rushes over there and hugs her. And, and he's like, I'm sorry, mommy. As she, she, you know, she's smiling because, you know, this is the first time, she, you know, her son has talked to her in a while because <laughs> of his problems. And she's like, and she, you know, hugs him, and, and she's a bit crying. It's like, um, I'm so happy you're talking to me. I'm, I wasn't mad at you, Mommy. I just was afraid I was going to hurt you. And he was keeping his mother at distance for her own safety because he doesn't know. He knows his quirk is dangerous. And she's like, it's no one to, it's like, it's, no, it's nothing to fear, sweetheart. What's, um... Let's, let's, let's eat some dinner. Because she was getting dinner ready. So, you know, as that goes on, they eat dinner. He goes to the school the next day. As, you know, everyone sees Izuku. And, you know, he's been missing. And all that stuff happened on the news. They all know. So, you know, the whole school knows not to, you know, mess with Midoriya without his sunglasses. So, you know, that's instant death. So, you know, the bullying stop in that grade. <laughs> Way too gets into um, like middle, middle school. So, you know, they progress. Sho Sho Shoto is not in the picture yet. She doesn't go to the same school when they were kids. I don't know when they started going to school with Momo, but I'm just saying, you know, like easy to use six, I think. So, you know, I'm just saying Shoto goes to a different one or he's homeschooled or, you know, stuff like that. So, he's, he, she's going to be a more, um, into the story when we get into first grade. Not first grade, the first year of middle school. So we're going to sk 
skip to um, the first day of middle school. As he gets the first day of middle school, he still doesn't have the visor yet. I have a plan for that. So as he's wearing his sun, sun, sunglasses and the teacher's like, oh, so you must be the new student we've been expecting. He's the last one to show up. Momo and um, Todoroki, they've become friends. Because um, his first day is not their first day. I'm just saying it took a while for him to get everything registered for his, you know, first first day of middle school. So let's just say he was late coming to his first day, about a week. So Izuku, you know, gets in. So um, you must be an issue. What is your name? I'm Izuku Midoriya. As he's wearing those sun, those green sunglasses. He's like, um... Midoriya, we don't allow sunglasses in this classroom. And um, Midoriya's like, I, I would suggest against that, ma'am. Without my glasses, everyone everyone in his room would die. As, you know, like, the teacher doesn't believe him. She's trying to take off, he, uh, she's trying to take off the glasses. He's like, he knocks her, her hand away. Don't do that. It's a part of my quirk. It, it makes I'm able to see without killing everyone. And she's still not a... You know, she's still not um, believing that shit. As uh, Momo is like, it's uh, he's right. I've known Izuku since I was uh, since we were kids. I suggest you don't do that. As you know, she's calling the principal. Has you know, Izuku um, sent to the principal office for disobeying, and he's and he's like, um, you must be Midoriya. So what is this issue you have with your sunglasses? We don't allow sunglasses in your school. And Midori is getting pissed. It's like, I'm tired of this. As he takes it off and shoots his desk. That's why. And he walks out of the storm off and goes home. And, you know, that was heard. And, you know, <laughs> Emma Frost came to visit, you know, Midoriya. Because, you know, <laughs> the school called. And you know, Inko called um, Emma Frost. Because, you know, over the years, they've become really close. Kind of like a um, brother, kind of like older sister and younger brother relationship. So as you know, she knocked on the door. Who is it? It's me. Um, it's me. Um, Frost. Emma. Uh, come in. As Izuku says, you know, on the computer. So I heard you had an incident at school. Those idiots didn't listen to me. So I had to show them. And she's laughing. She's like, yeah, you didn't have to vaporize the, the principal's office. He's <laughs> like, what am I going to do with you, kid? He's like, I I think we can, you know. She's like, come on, Izuku. We're going to do some training. And and she's like, training? Yeah, we're going to, it's about time. You're around that age where you need to start training your quirk. Get better control of your... Your quirk. So, let's go to Degaby Beach. No, let's go to, um, they, uh, they took, um, Inko's going with them, because they're going to the, uh, her laboratory, where she, where she does tests, and, and he, and Inko's like, ah, son, as, you know, they're going downstairs, she's like, are you ready to go? And, um, Midori's like, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, you're, I'm taking to work to, um, to, to, to do some training. I have something to give you. As Izuku's like, what? She's like, Inko smiling. <laughs> Don't worry. It's a, it's an early birthday present. So you know he's a tree. She's like, very well. And and she's like, oh, by the way, you know, son, try not to blow up the principal desk again. I'm going to have. I'm ready to complain about them both, and it's making a big hassle. So you know, Izuku's like. I understand, Mom, but he's an idiot. They're both are. And you know, like, I know. I've already yelled at them both. And now they know, you know. You kind of showed them why. So, as that goes on. Everything goes on. They get to the, um, to the laboratory. As you know, they're like, so, um, he's, he's like, so, um, what am I doing here? What exactly? What type of training? He's like, 
isn't it too dangerous to use my um, eyes indoors? <laughs> so she's like, it's all right. We have a, I've had this built specifically for your training. Inko does. And she's, and she's, and, and, and Emma Frost's like, how long have you been hiding that? I've been hiding that since she was um, eight. As you know, she's proud of it. And she's, you know, it's a big room. It has a lot of metal pieces for um, practice, shooting range for his quirk. As she, you know, been, no, she goes up to Izuku, her son. He's like, sweetheart, here's your earthly. I've been working on this for a very long time. I am finally got it all connect. I got it. Sorry. <laughs> I finally got it finished. Got all the kinks out of it. She hands it and and he's like, what's this? It's a visor. It's your, um, it's a, um, support item to help you with your cork. You'll be able to, I know with your glasses, if they fall off, you use your, you know, that, that falling off won't work on this. So, you know, he puts it on and he, and, you know, he can see a whole lot better with this than, uh, than those glasses. Because, you know, they the glasses weren't made really good, so... He would have to always, you know, replace it after a while because they would uh, de uh, deteriorate. Sorry, I'm a light cigarette, real fast. And he's like, he's impressed by it, and he's he's like, this is quite amazing. So how how does it work? Because he's had his eyes open and nothing's happening. He's like, sweetheart, there's a knob. You have four settings, you know. Four power settings. The force one never use, only on a last resort. If you use a force setting, you could actually kill someone. And Izuku, you know, looks down and and Inko's, you know, tips like it's all right, sweetheart. You had no control of your cork. You know, I'm not blaming you. Neither is you know Miss Frost here. And Emma Frost is like, yeah. A little, he's like, yeah, a little guy. He's like, yeah, you little troublemaker. I don't blame you for any of that. You were still a, a kid. With, you know, with your type of quirk, it's, it's very remarkable you have that much of restraint. So she's like, come on, kid, you know, shoot some, let's see what you do. So, you know, he goes to the first setting and he shoots the beams. It doesn't go through them, it, you know, enough force. To hit it as a dent it, and you know, he's like, I didn't vaporize it. Now go to setting two, as you know, there's a little hole in it, and she's like, All right, let's go with some um, a higher grade metal. Now go to stage three, as you know, it goes through it. Now, sweetheart, I normally wouldn't want you to use stage four, but I need you to know how, how powerful it really is. So she gets a bunch of metal pieces layered next to each other. Like about about ten of them in front of each other. So okay, sweetie. Um fire. As he switched the knobs to stage four, you know. As it goes through the metal pieces and it goes through the um, the wall. As there's alarm going off and and, and and he goes like that's that's enough that's enough sweetheart as she you know she you know has her head like rubbing her head he's like his cork is way too powerful even with the um inhibitor with the visor the visor you know limit his power but it's still super powerful <laughs> so you see uh, his cork is more powerful when he's not using the visor without restraint he has no way to control it right now. In the future parts, he'll be able to turn it off and on without using the visor. But right now, he's on his training wheels right now. so Because it would not make sense that he would you know, get automatically control out of nowhere. So, let's continue. As he you know, begins his training. And um, with Inko supervising. And with... um. Emma Frost guidance. As you no, know, they've spent several hours there, and 
and you know, Inka's proud of her son because, you know, the progress he made in a short time. He's like, you are getting the really hang of it, son. And, you know, he's just like, thank you, Mom. I appreciate you looking out for me. And, yet again, I'm sorry how I acted when I was younger. I was just afraid. I still am afraid of hurting people. But I'm no longer, you know, trying to distance myself from um, other people. As, you know, Inko's like, yeah, because that Momo girl did that. Because Momo, you know, nipped that in a butt for me. And, you know, they're both laughing. <laughs> and, and, and he's just like, mother, we're just friends. And she's like, well, that might change in the future, sweetheart. Friendships tend to be more after a while. You two have been close ever since you were kids. And, you know, Izzy gets done with that. He's like, no, I'm not thinking about that right now. I have more worry, you know, I'm more worried about killing people at my quirk. So that's what he's thinking in his head. So, you know, he doesn't really, doesn't really think of, you know, any type of relationship. He's more worried about his quirk and he hasn't decided to go to UAE yet. So he hasn't even thought about it. So, you know, the UAE mention hasn't even hit, hit, hit his brain because he's not like, um, Obsessed with heroes, like in canon. He doesn't want nothing to do with the hero world. That will change, but we'll continue our story. As you know, they get there the next day, and the teacher doesn't talk to Yuzuku. As he has the visor on, and, oh, and everyone knows, sees it, and everyone heard about. Some people had, like, it's been going around school that, you know, um, the new kid vaporized their principal's um, desk. In his office. But some kids don't believe it. They think it's, you know, bullshit. As you know, he's... He doesn't sit next to Momo or Shoto. He sits away. Just because, you know... It's still Izuku. So, you know, he still distances himself. Kind of like... He he talks to people, but he doesn't like being around people. It's just that he's not, you know... Trying to... Be himself all the time. He has his own... He, he, yeah, he sticks to himself. Not by choice, because everyone, you know, is afraid of him. Except for, you know, Momo. She's always, you know, talking to Izuku. As, um, Momo and, um, Shoto are talking, they, they see Midoriya walking by himself. And, you know, Shoto's like, so, um, the new kid, you know him, Sh uh, Momo? And... I was like, yeah, um, me and Zuku have been friends for a long time. He had, he's had it rough. Especially with how he, um, I don't want to go into details, that's kind of personal, but he, when he's younger, he had a, he had a problem with his quirk. And she's like, what do you mean? He said, and she's like, oh, Shoto, fine, I'll tell you. I don't, 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 don't say anything, all right? I don't want you to get mad at me. And, you know, she explains to Shoto, um, <laughs> explains to Shoto about, as, you know, she, her eye, you know, it's kind of a sad story, you know, he did his own cork, and she, um, kind of gets it, because, um, she hates her fire. So, she kind of understands Izuku a little bit. It's not the same as her, but she understands not wanting a part of a cork. At least her side, her fire side. So she has a scar, you know, her mother, you know, burned her. That same thing happened to Canon. So that's difference between she's a girl. So Izuku is eating lunch on, the, um, you know, on top of the um, school. The, the what, what would it be called? Um, the roof. Some, some schools in Japan has like, you know, a doorway to the roof. So, you know, have have a gate up there. Some kids, you know, I've seen a bunch of animes like that where, you know, they chill up in the roof or the main, you know, character likes, likes to sleep up there and skip school. So, he's eating by himself and there's like, you know, three kids, you know, little punks from a higher class, from a uh, higher, higher class. And they're like, huh. so that's the new kid, huh? Which is, you know, nifty visor. Looks like a weirdo to me. As you know, they're going to, hey, so you must be the new kid. As they're, as Izuku's like, what do you want? 
I was a, I heard a rumor about your cork. I highly, I think it's all bullshit, really. Take off that, you know, that little visor thing. I want to see what you really do. And, and, and Izuku's like, huh. Izuku's like, if I do that, you'll, you'll, you'll die. As they think that's a threat, that's like, huh, you think you're tough shit, little kid? <laughs> little, you know, scrub? You're only a freshman here. I'm the big dog around here. As they're trying to push Izuku, they pin him down. And they're about to take off the visor. As, you know, Shoto comes in and freezes all of them. And starts to beat them. Because, <laughs> you know, they took off the visor a little bit. Yeah, they, they, they took it off and he's trying to close his eyes. As, you know, they were... They try to throw the visor over. Yeah, they throw it off the building. As, you know, he can't see at all. Because, you know, he'll kill people. As Shoto's like, freaking idiot. As she, you know, knocks them out. The rest of them. Like, though the first two got frozen, their own got away. Start, you know, he threw the visor off. The, it's like, <laughs> a loser as he walks off. He, he doesn't want no part of Endeavor's daughter. So he's like, yeah. Got saved by freaking Endeavor's Art. You got lucky, kid. Next time, you know, I'll beat, you know, I'll beat you. I'll beat that into you. As he threatens Izuku and walks off, and Shoto is about to do something, and Izuku's like, leave it alone. I need to find out my visor. And, and she's like, I'm sorry, you know, they kind of threw it off the balcony, off the building. He's like, shit, that's, that was my only one. That's my mom got. It's, my mom made that for me. And she's like, she calls Momo, and she rushes over there. It's like, what happened, Izuku? And, you know, Shoto's like, some punks from, you know, the upperclassmen started talking with Izuku and threw his visors, and she's just like, so, you know, they, um, they both grab his hand, and, you know, he can't see, so they're leading him out there. They find the visor, as Shoto, you know, puts it on his face, and he's like, another day of this crappy school, as... Yeah, Izuku thanks them both, thank you, as he walks off. And, you know, Momo's like, wait up, Izuku. What, Momo? I think I shouldn't, I think I should stop coming to school. This is just going to be, cause problems. Especially if I get, I'll talk to mom, see if she can homeschool me. And, she, and Momo's like, no, you're not doing that. You're not going to distance yourself away from people again. I thought you were over this. It's like you're over, over this. And he, he goes, I'm over my quirk. From being afraid of my quirk. But people will never accept it. Or they'll just pick on me because they'll think I'm weird because of my visor. And I'm the, I'm done. As you know, sh you know, Shoto's and Momo, you know, are kind of, kind of pissed off. Not as they do, but as the, the, the boys, as you know. She goes up to the um, principal office and and she tells the principal what happened. And, you know, principal knows, you know, after his desk being now um, evaporated, he kind of, you know, takes Izuku seriously. So they call the, the parents get called in, all of them, to a little, little hoodlums. And she's like, in this school, I don't, I don't tolerate bullying, period. You're all expelled. As they're like, what do you mean expelled? And yeah, and, and, and the mother's like, what do you mean expelled? He was picking on a kid. The only reason you're not dead is because he has self-control. Unlike my desk, but that's enough said about that. You're expelled. Get out of my, get out of my school. As you know, the parents are kind of pissed off, but they can't do nothing about it because, you know, he's bullying and that's the main role of the school, I guess. So, you know, she calls Inko and tells her about it. And she's like, oh, dear. Did, um, was there anyone hurt? No, um, no, Miss Midoriya. No one's hurt. Your son is very, he always keeps himself on a leash. And she's like, yeah, my son kind of does that sometimes. I'm just, I just don't want another incident happen, what happened in, um, his other school. And the principal knows about it. No, after his va his um desk got vaporized, he kind of looked into Midoriya. So you know, he knows that the villain attack well, not villains, but someone trying to kidnap a student, and he kind of killed him. So, so he he understood, and 
and Emma Frost has talked to the principal before, so as we continue, as you know, Momo comes over to Izuku's house. Oh, um, oh, Momo, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to see you again. Yeah, I'm here to talk to Izuku. He kind of flip, kind of had a flip. He kind of flipped out after I you know what happened to school, and she's like, "Yeah, I know. I those kids are not gonna be there anymore." As Momo's like, I, "Thank you. I really, you know." Those were kids were troublemakers, I've heard. And Izuku's kind of, you know, trying to go back in his old ways. And, you know, he goes like, I know. He went straight to his room and the, he hasn't came out. So, you know, Izuku is, you know, just sitting on the bed. And Momo, you know, knocks on the door. Izuku, it's me, Momo. As, you know, come in. As, you know, she gets in and... She, She's like, do you want to talk about it? Oh, not really, but I know you. You're not going to stop nagging me. And she smiles like, damn right, I'm not going to stop nagging you. And she, you know, socks him in the arm a little bit. I'm just... And she's like, those kids are going to come back again, and they're going to cause... And Mom was like, no, they won't. They were expelled t today. And he's he like, what? He's like, yeah, uh, um, this... Our school is very hard on bullying. And, uh, you know, Izuku, you know, has a, oh, uh, he's relief because he doesn't want to go through that again because he, because he's afraid if he, lo if he gets pissed off, yeah, he didn't want to hurt anyone, even though he has the visor, he still doesn't want to hurt someone because that's not how he was, you know, Emma Frost has, you know, beat that, like had him, taught him into the lesson, like you gotta be, your quirk might be powerful. But you gotta use it responsibly. So, not for personal gain. So, stuff like that. Like this real fast. So, they spend the day, you know, talking, hanging out, and studying. <laughs> because, you know, these Izuku and Momo are smart, and they like to keep the grades up. So, she's like, I gotta get home, Izuku. I'll see you tomorrow at school. Are you still coming? Um, Izuku. And, and Izuku's like, yeah, I'll come. I'll be coming to school again. She's like, good. As she walks off and you know, says bye to Inko, she's like, thank you, um, Momo. And he's like, no problem. Izuku's my friend. If I don't talk since to him, no one will. And Because, you know, Inko's like, I know, you're the only one that really, really could get through to, through to him when he gets like that. And Momo's like, I've noticed. I'll see you later, Mrs. Izuku. Mrs. You know, not Izuku. <laughs> Mrs. Midoriya. As. Okay, so we're going to stop it here. We're at 28 minutes. I know this. I'm just trying to get the story develop. So I don't know if I'm going to skip it to the end of the. I don't know. Um, next part, I'll put some action into it. More action. So, I hope you guys have a good night and day. Judging my time zones. Alright, bye.